Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Thought I'd come back a little bit earlier than I normally do with these episodes, because, well, in the last episode, I had discovered that I can use rod pods on the boat. Well, not the rod pods that we were given, but they have a specific rod pod. If you come into your shop here, down under Other... Go to Rod Pods, and here it is. This is an Okina Boat Rod H. And this basically fits on the end of your boat. Now, the Rod Pods, let me go ahead and show you here. This is the Rod Pods right here. Now, that was, they were in the last episode, but we really didn't explore them that much. But these things allow us to fish up to three rods and the bottom fishing here is really good now I don't think we can do trolling I did try a little bit and I got lucky once but the problem is is when you're driving the boat you can't really look behind you and that's something you need to be able to do it's possible that maybe when you play with another player they can be back here watching the rods so maybe it's kind of a co-op thing that occurred to me not too long ago. I thought, well, somebody could be driving a boat. But what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. We're going to get, we're not going to really go too far from the boat dock. Because there's a lot of things out here. So, but I want to get in a really heavily populated area with fish. And there's several. I don't know if I should go on the left side or over here. Now right here is pretty heavily populated. Oh yeah, look at that. Holy crap, there's a lot of fish. Something should bite, without a doubt. Well, let's go ahead. Yeah, I know we're right here and we probably could have done it from offshore, but I think it's going to be more fun to do this. But let's go ahead and throw some of these rods out there. I don't know how big these guys are. We may have to adjust our hook sizes as we go. But let's throw this out here. Wait a minute. I thought I put a hmm. I thought I put a bait on there. No, I didn't. Well, that makes no sense. Let's see. I think I wanted to try a maggot only because I believe the red drum go for those pretty readily. Now, did it take at that time? Yes, okay. There's some big old grouper out there, too. But I don't think we're going to have a problem with any hook sizes being too small. Now, this one... Good gosh, it, none of, it didn't take any of the baits that I put on there. That's really strange. I think I'm going to... I think I'm up to put some cut bait on this one. Let's see, big cut bait. No, actually, I might go with some Molina balls. Because there's some other things here, like the yellowfin tuna. That might go for that. And the dough balls, let's see, I think... Yeah, mahi mahi dough. Let's just see what happens. We'll clip a dough ball in there. And then 
the fourth rod. Same thing. That is weird. On this one, I'm going to go ahead and... Good God, it didn't even hold the hook that I put on there. Yeah, I think I had put a bigger hook on here, too. This one holds up the three baits. And I think I'm going to put three baits on there. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to put some cut bait, dragonfly, and a grasshopper. If I can. Nope, I can only get two. That's good enough. That'll do it. That should track something. I'm going to throw that way out there. Yeah, the grouper seem to have moved in. Uh, they weren't here before. We're just going to watch our rods here and see if anything happens. Now, what is that? It looks like a tarpon. I wonder if I could grab another rod. Yes, I can. So I can still... Yeah, see, it's saying it's proper, so we're good. Alright, guys, looks like we got one on the middle one. Oh, boy. And it's not little. Yeah, we're using pretty much number six and number four, because most of these fish are not seriously big here. Oh yeah, we can use the underwater camera now. Now, what do we got here? I think this is a little tunny. Yeah, a little tunny is in the tuna family. They don't get huge. Not sure what their maximum weights are, but... Let's see how big this one is. I think we might have us a personal best. Yep, we got a record here. 28.28 pounds. It is a little tiny. Yeah, see they have the same types of fins that uh, other types of tuna have. These little fins on the tail. You also have to keep swimming. Let me go. I'm not sh I might go ahead and keep him. Put him in my tank here. Can't keep too many of them, though. I've got to start selling some of them. i got to get some of the cash back. I've been spending the money here. Hoping we get a few more of these. Now this, I have, I think... Well, let me check something here. I think I have... Let's see if... Do I have a float rod here? I have two. Oh, that's right, I was trying some trolling, so I don't have a float rod right at the moment. But I was going to try to see if I could still get one of these groupers, or at least what size I need hook-wise to get one. Can't tell how big they are. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and gear up one of these rods. For bottom fishing. Let's see here. We got. Get rid of that. We'll add a float. Big float. We'll get a bigger hook this time. Let's try one. No, not that big. Yeah, about like that. That should work. And we'll put. some live bait on there. Oh, do we do have a bite? Middle one. Seems to be the middle one's doing really well. What do we got here? Now that looks like a sea bass. Of course, I thought it, the red drum was a sea bass, so I'm not sure. <laughs> 
Yeah, they're going for the live bait here, so... Nothing has gone for the other insect baits so far. It's a gray snapper. Okay. And it is a new record. 31.36 pounds. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep him, put him in the non-predator tank. And if I get another one... It's bigger, we'll just switch it out. And then we'll... You can do that, you can still sell them. You can still sell them. Alright. Like I said, I've gotten no bites off of this. So I'm going to change this up here. Yeah, I've got... What size hook do I have on here? Four? Yeah, I might up that to a two. That's going to take it to that weight category. And then I'm going to put live bait on that one. I put a wax worm on there too just to see. Because a red drum like those. There we go. And it's still the middle rod. Okay, let's see what we got here. Alright, I think we got us another little tunny. Well, they're really, really biting here. Trying to go into the dock here. Okay, this might be a personal record here. Yeah, one thing about this game is you not you don't get more than one fish on a line at a time. That much I have noticed. So if you get a bite, the other two are left alone, which is not very realistic, unfortunately, but it does make it a little easier. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he's not a record. So I am definitely going to sell him. We need the money. I've seen a lot of lionfish around here, too. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to throw this over here and see if these goliath groupers will show any interest. Haven't got anything off this one, either. This was... Oh, wait a minute. This, well, that would be why. I was supposed to have this one. Let's see if anything goes after this. Somehow grabbed the wrong rod. All right, got all three of them out here. Yep, oh, we got a bite. The second one again. Well, I can't seem to get a pickup on it. I think we... Yeah, I think this is a tarpon. Looks size is proper. Yeah, he's not a record for me. Not a bad fish, but not a record. Atlantic Tarpon, 20.49 pounds. Sell him. What size hook do I have on here? 
number four. So that's been pretty good for me. Yeah, I want to throw right out here. Where are those grouper? Looks like the grouper might have moved on. Oh, now we got a different rod. Alright. Oh, there he is, too. I think it's another tarpon. Yep, another tarpon. Go ahead and sell him. Alright, looks like we got another one here. Finally, the first one. Oh wow, he was like right there. <laughs> I just grabbed him and there he was. New record though. Black sea bass, 9.04 pounds. Yeah, I'm going to keep him, put him in my tank here. Yeah, I'm going to start, I haven't started it yet, but I was going to start kind of like a, almost like a tropical tank. Just, you know, fish that are not pre typically predatory. Got a shark tank. And then just a mixture of other things. Alright, let's see if we can't get something else here. I wonder if I could size this up a little bit. Now, right now I'm at a 4 on this one. Let's take it to a 1, equip it, and see what that happens. Let's see if we can get something bigger. It might come back and say the hook is too hook is too big. There's a grouper right there. Pretty certain. Yep. Nope, still hook size is proper. You yeah, let me where is he? There's one right there. Let's see if... No. Nope. Got one on this one here. Okay, what do we got here? Another tarpon. Lots of tarpon out here. Tarpon's a good f species to grind, I tell ya. They give a lot of cash. A lot of XP. He is... Wow, this is a pretty decent sized fish. He hasn't turned yet. Seriously resisting. Alright, we're getting him. Yep. He took it out a little ways. These are pretty heavy rods. All right, let's take it down a little bit more. Yeah, it might be possible that the bottom 
Rods don't work with the great the giant grouper or the Atlantic grouper. He's not a record, but 102 pounds, that's nothing to sneeze at. We could sell him for $620. Yeah, I think we will. I think we just made our money back that we spent on gear just a little while ago. There's a grouper right there. I'm going to throw it right there and see what happens. Another reason to have the float rod is it seems like when you toss one out, it never seems to fail. That's when you get a bite on one of the bottom rods. <laughs> it's just the way it works. Now this is a number one hook. So this is the biggest hook I've used so far. It still says it's proper. If I had get something on this, I might go to a... Nope, can't do it. It would be this one. What do we got here? Ah, there it is. There's our first grouper. Ha <laughs> ha. I was hoping we'd get one. Bottom fishing is fun. Especially we can get three of them out at the same time. This guy, this guy is going to keep me busy. Now this is a number one hook, so this is the same hook size that I've got on my float rod. So he could, I think, 77 pounds is the cutoff. So it's very possible he's good size. I mean, not like humongous, but... But we got him. Yeah, he's coming in now. Yeah, the live bait seems to be doing really well here. So do the wax worms. I'm beginning a lot of the smaller fish like that. The, that's what got the sea bass's attention. Oh uh, yeah, big old, big old grouper. There he is, Atlantic Goliath grouper, 86 pounds. Wow, that's nice. He's not my record, but he is de definitely a decent fish. We'll sell him. Yeah, we've got a bigger one in our tank. Yeah, we need to start building up a little cash, but I am going to upsize this hook just a little bit. It will go to a one ot, so that's what we're going to do. Check our hunter vision there. Looks like we've got some grouper back out there. So that's where I'm throwing it, right out there. Perfect. I think I will upsize this one. No, I already have it, okay. Let's see if we can't get us another grouper here. Maybe a little bit bigger than that one. Yeah, I'd love to break my record on these guys. There they are. I'm not sure how big these guys are running, but... 86 pounds, that means they're definitely going to be a little bit bigger than that. At least somewhere. We got us a barracuda. With a one odd hook. That might be a big barracuda, guys. This might be a big fella. Holy crap. 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever caught one off a of one aught, so that he might be a record. Look how far he's taking it out. Okay, this needs to start turning here soon. Is he gonna spool me? I've got to get him turned. Yep, he spooled me. Dang, damn it. Boy, that was a big one. Man, I have never had one, never had a barracuda take it out that far. I seriously need bigger, heavier line. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Let's take our tension down a little bit. Man, I couldn't believe he took it out. There's a tarpon. That's a decent sized tarpon, too. He's turning, he's turning. Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah, this is a decent tarpon, guys. See how big this fella is. He's not a record, but he is decent, man. Seventy-nine point nine eight pounds. Five hundred one cash. I see when we pulled him up this time, he fills up the entire screen, which seems a little unusual that we're not getting that with every fish. I don't understand that. I wish there was a way to get a better shot. That's the only thing about this game. I wish we could get better picture shots. Proposing shots. But we are going to definitely sell him. We need the cash. Now before we move on, I'm going to do one more thing, guys. I think I'm going to upsize the hook one more time. We're going to take it to... And we don't want to take it that big. We want it too odd if we can get it. Let's see if there's anything big enough we can catch with this. This is pushing it. <laughs> but I like to push it. There's plenty of big fellows out here. There's the Atlantic Grouper. 
There's Tarpon. There's a group right over there. That fish looked interested at first, but okay, that one is, and that's a grouper. All right, well, we're just gonna need to be patient with this guy. Definitely want to get him in, if at all possible. He's still taking it. Still taking it. Yeah, you can kind of tell if they get to a certain point whether you're really going to get them or not. Still taking up pretty darn fast. Yeah, I'm going to keep pulling on him, see if he gets tired. Okay, he's turning. He's turning. We might have him, guys. We might have him. He's a big fella. Took it out over 400 feet. We're still gaining on him. We'll lessen up the tension a little bit. He doesn't break the line. Oh yeah, we got him. Now we gotta watch it because he could still bolt. Might get a second wind. If it happens, it usually is around 80 feet out. So we'll keep an eye on this. Nope, doesn't look like he's gonna get a second wind. Let's see how big this fellow is. Ooh, he is a new record. Well, we're going to keep him, that's for darn sure. 224 pounds. Oh, yes. That may be the biggest fish I have in my tank. He would bring 1,136 cash. He is 5.29 feet. 224 pounds. Well, we definitely keep him. Not bad. Bottom fishing definitely pays off over here. You can quickly go up in cash and XP, but we're still just a sliver from being at level 18. Well, let's go ahead and get over here to our... We need to get out of here, actually. I'm going to go ahead and put our new Atlantic grouper in our tank. Maybe a couple other fish in the, the other tanks, too. All right, let's see here. Yeah, the sea tanks are back here. Gotta walk through several rooms here. Now over here's the shark tank. 
And this is the Predator tank. And I think I've got tarpon in here and drum and a few other big fish. Let me see here. Yep, manage. We gotta do the right mouse button. Let's see, we've got... What can we put in here? Oh, the Atlantic grouper we just caught is much bigger than the last one. The one we have in here... He's only 191 pounds, so we're gonna go ahead and sell him. That'll give us a thousand dollars. We have a Malibu Cooper in here. Here's the new one. We'll insert him. And let's see anything else? Let's see. We got us a Barracuda in here. Some common lionfish. Yeah, the, the black sea bass we're gonna put in there. Yep, that's the big one. We'll sell this one. So he's a little bit bigger than the one we had in there. Yeah, this, this one we'll go ahead and sell him. He wasn't quite that big. We got Great Barracuda. a little tunny in here. We can go ahead and insert. There we go. And the blue marlin. Yeah. Now we'll do a fish cam. We'll cycle through some of them. That's the gray snapper. Black drum. Red drum. And looks like we have more than one black drum. Got common lionfish here. There's our 256 pound Atlantic tarpon. That's the biggest one we got. There's our big old fella, the Atlantic Goliath grouper. There's our new black sea bass. Great Barracuda, which we had one on the line. It was much bigger than that. Our little Tunny. And there's our Blue Marlin we caught from the last episode. Alright. They're all there. We still haven't got a full tank yet, so not bad, guys. By the way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Until then, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.